Okay guys, the game I got for you is pest control. How, how pest control works when the students come into the classroom, uh, right as they're walking through the door, I'll assign them a jersey color. I usually have my jerseys over here, well, our door's right here, but I usually have a jerseys over here and I'll, I'll just simply go blue, purple, red, green, and just repeat so the kids, as they come in, will grab the jersey that I told them to grab and, uh, and then they'll go to their spots and we'll get started with the game. Uh, Basically how pest control works is we have four teams. We have purple that's lined up on this sideline, blue that's lined up on this sideline, red which is lined up behind the cone, and green is lined up behind the cone. Um, those are the four starting positions for the team. Uh, the other equipment you'll need, you'll need a whole bunch of gopher balls. Um, I also use the very, like the uh, trainer volleyballs. Uh, any, any ball you have that's super soft will work. And I get as many of them as I can, and I line them up on this sideline, and I line them up on this sideline. Um, and I get all the pool, all the half pool noodles I have. I have a whole bunch of half pool noodles, and I'll make a big pile on this side of the gym. Um, how pest control works, the two outside teams are my exterminators. My two running teams are my mice. So what I do is I say, on your mark, get set, go. And the mice, the two teams that are the mice, have five minutes to get as many pieces of cheese as they can. So when I say go, the first person in line only takes off running, and they're gonna try to make it all the way down here and grab one pool noodle piece of cheese and run back to their team without getting hit by one of the exterminators. If they get hit by an exterminator, let's say um, that a red team member gets hit right here okay if she does not have a piece of cheese she's gonna go to the back of the line if the red member runs all the way over here gets a piece of cheese and is running back and gets hit with the ball she's gonna sit down crisscross right here and she's gonna hold the noodle above her head that noodle then becomes available for either of the running teams they can become available for the green or the red whichever student gets to this girl first can take the piece of cheese from her and go back to the back of the line. And it's a shorter distance you have to run, it's easier to get those pieces of cheese. If someone comes and takes your piece of cheese as you're sitting down, you can go to the back of your line. Um, so basically in that five minutes, uh, each of these kids will get to run two or three times and they run down, try to take a piece of cheese and make it back to their line. After the five minutes is up, I'll have the, these two teams do a count of how many pieces of cheese they got and they'd write it on my whiteboard, and then we'd switch. The two outside teams would go line up over here, the two running teams would go become my exterminators, and then we'd start another five minutes. Whoever, whoever uh, gets the most in that 10 minute period would be the winner of that round, and then you can play another round, and another round, and another round. Um, I usually only play this with like my fourth and fifth graders um, that have had a lot of work on dodging. Uh, the little kids uh, tend to run and they don't look at all to the sides and they get pegged really easily and can become pretty dangerous. Uh, but with the older kids, they love pest control and it teaches them uh, peripheral vision and dodging and they really enjoy it. Uh, hope you enjoy it as well. This is pest control.